All right, guys, here we are in Photoshop again to do a quick demo of PhotoFrame 4.6. And uh, PhotoFrame is just one of those really cool programs that uh, there's just so many possibilities. Uh, and I didn't realize that at first. I just thought it was for adding borders. But uh, upon further inspection, I, I realized that you can, you know, create layouts. You can add uh, or you can make uh, senior announcements or engagement announcements, whatever you want. And the, the possibilities are just endless. And, uh, you know, honestly, for me, it's not a program that I will use uh, on a day-to-day -day basis or even on a month-to-month -month basis for that matter. But if I need to uh, create a custom album or send out announcements for a senior that I photographed or anything like that, um, this this resource is just uh, priceless. I mean, there there is just so many options, and uh, you know, all you do is uh, just have your image selected and double click on Photo Frame, just like any other program, and it'll launch and uh, it'll take you straight to the library once the image loads, and from there you have you know access to just unlimited uh, borders and textures and and whatnot. So if you go over here to the left side, you can see all the different uh, categories. And within each category is just, you know, more and more categories beyond that. So, you know, since this is a uh, an image of a senior that I photographed, I'll come down here to senior and just, uh, you know, see the different options that we have available. And, you know, some people will like these and some people won't. It's not everybody's style. It's not necessarily mine, uh, you know, effects like this. but. If you just scroll down, you're usually sure to find something that'll, uh, you know, fit what you're looking for. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of like these effects. Uh, you know, for, for senior announcements, you could add text here, uh, you know, the date and time and everything like that. But, uh, you know, you, and you don't have to use these. There's there's just so many different options. Uh, I can come over here to, to wedding. Like, let's say this was a bride that I was shooting. And I wanted to create some uh, some layouts for an album. You can do these full page textures. Uh, you could do the cover here, and um, you know you could just get lost in here, just trying to find different layouts and just having fun seeing what each one looks like and and this sort of thing. Um, you know the digital is a is kind of a cool feature. You can come down here to photographic and add uh, <clears throat> these old film borders and. Come down here to film and uh, large format. You can do those. Uh, instant film is a cool one that I that I've liked. Um, over here, to type 55, and you can get these kind of borders around your edges just to make it look like it came out of an old uh, old camera. You can do warm or cool tones, whatever you want. I mean, um, really, there's just so many possibilities in here. Um, for this one, I'll just go back to that senior one just to kind of show you how it works. Uh, that was in layouts and senior. And come down here to the bottom. <clears throat> and uh, I will choose, let's just pick kind of a random one here. I'll choose this one here. It kind of caught my eye. If you double click on it, it pulls you into the editor here where you can, you know, turn off and on layers. Some some uh, of the textures have different layers that you can delete or turn on or off, just like in Photoshop. Uh, this one just has the one, so we don't have a lot of, lot of options on this one. I can resize or move around the image in here, but I usually like to just do that in Photoshop. So what I'll do is just click Apply and take it back to Photoshop and just show you some of the things you can do here. <clears throat> It creates the uh, the photo frame layer in a folder, and then adds a, a white mask to it if you wanted to take any of the stuff out, which is really convenient. Uh, for this image, I'm just going to kind of resize the portrait here. So with that uh, layer selected, I'll hit Command T to uh, manipulate the size of this, and hold down Shift to uh, constrain the proportions. And I'm just going to kind of take this image and make it a bit smaller here. <clears throat> Just get it to where I want it, then I can move that around in, in here. And it, you can see it just operates completely uh, freely and independently from the from the photo frame. And I'll hit enter, and uh, that's it. I've got the image where I want it. Uh, some people might want to, uh, you know, even it out and make it uh, parallel with the uh, the Polaroid frame. There, you can do that as well. And uh, 
that's it. You're done. You would just save this out as a JPEG and take it to your print lab and, and have it printed out. Uh, you could add text layers here to, to say what time the graduation is or if there's a party or anything like that. But um, that's PhotoFrame.